Hi everyone, Tyler Manning here, MPC and IFBB Pro League Vice President, and this will be your wellness recap for the M Pro Classic. First, I want to say I was very, very impressed with the overall wellness level here at this show. I feel like the wellness level in Europe has risen dramatically over the last couple of years. The top four, I thought, were all very, very strong competitors. So we'll start out with first and second. In first, we had Leonida, and in second, we had Denai. I think this was a very, very uh, good top two at this show. For Leonida, she just needs to work on doing what she's been doing and improving that back pose a little bit more, improving the glutes a little bit more. For Denai, I think the main thing she can work on is bringing in her waistline a little bit more. This is what affected her in the front and both side poses. From the back, she has a very, very strong back pose. Her legs and glutes are very balanced, very strong. And also the walk as well. She does a great, a great walk to the back, a great walk forward. Overall, I think it was a, a close show between the two. But when you go pose by pose, uh, Leonida's structure and overall balance and smaller waistline makes her take both the front and both side poses. I think Denai took the back pose. Uh, Leonida's back pose is not bad by any means. I think it's very good. It is very, very improved. But still, the, the glutes could just be a little bit better. So she has enough time from now until the Olympia to improve that. And I think this is going to make wellness have a very tight race to try to get into the top five in wellness this year. I think it's going to be extremely competitive between a lot of girls. Uh, we've seen improvements by a lot of competitors this year. So I think it's really exciting at the top of wellness right now. She's definitely a contender to try to break in there this year. Her conditioning again was perfect for wellness, just like it was at the Arnold UK. She brought the same conditioning here and it was great. Denai's overall conditioning was also very, very good. It's just really for the main thing for her, uh, structurally, she needs to try to just bring in that waistline a little bit more. That's the difference between her and Leonida at this show. Also, she could improve the way she was hitting both of her side poses, just with her the, the way she was hitting her side leg. She's kind of flattening out the detail a little bit there when she didn't need to as much, mostly about foot placement for her. And another thing was that she needs to watch out for, and I told her, but I want to make a note of it for all the competitors that are listening, is her suit was a little bit too low in the front. So we don't want to see that. We There's no reason in the world for there not to be enough material on the suits in the front. If this keeps happening, which it's starting to become a trend, you're going to see us just dismissing people from stage because we can't, we just can't have that on stage. So I know this comes from the suit makers as well, but you know, it's bordering on getting too, too small. There's no reason that you need less and less material in your bikini bottoms, whether you're wellness, whether you're bikini or any other of the women's divisions that doesn't enhance your look. It doesn't help frame your glutes better. It doesn't help your front poses or your side poses. So hopefully that's a message to the bikini makers. And it's also a message to the competitors. You don't need to go that small. So not picking on her by any means. It's just this happened at this show. And it's something that I wanted to make sure the message got out there on. In third place, we had Katarina from Portugal. Uh, for Katarina, she had overall very good balance, a very good look. Again, she's another another competitor that can work on bringing the waistline in just a little bit more. And actually for her, her glutes are at the maximum that they should be for this category and for this division. I don't think she needs to grow her glutes at all anymore. She needs to just make sure that they don't grow more so they don't become unbalanced between her legs and the rest of her body. So for her, the conditioning was very solid as well. Going forward uh, for future shows, I would not change up the conditioning too much. It was very good. And just some little tweaks here and there, but she's also a very, very strong competitor. In fourth place, we had Carlotta. Uh, Carlotta needs a little bit more depth to her glutes. In the front pose, you can see she needs a little bit more to her legs as well. And again, in the side pose, she was also flattening out the detail and us not seeing the overall balance in the side leg between the quads and the hamstring. So a little bit of a change to the foot placement and the way she was posing in her side leg pose, 
Overall, her conditioning was very good as well. That's another thing I wanted to point out. I, I was very happy with this top force conditioning for wellness. No one was no one was extremely hard, which used to be the case, especially at European shows in the past. So I feel like everybody is seeing the criteria better and trying to adhere to the criteria better. So a, a very, very good quality top four here. And overall, even moving down past the top four, there were some exciting contenders that have a lot of potential moving forward. So an overall great wellness show to see and a great wellness show to look at to see the criteria being adhered to.